I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an interesting question from the test paper. The question is, it is functions chapter 3, quadratic functions. Determine a quadratic equation in standard form to represent parabola that has roots minus 4 plus minus 2 square root 13 over 6. So we need to find the equation of a quadratic function that means y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. So that is the equation of quadratic function in standard form to represent parabola that has roots given as minus 4 plus minus 2 over 2 square root 13 over 6. So that is your question. It's a very important thinking question. I'd like you to pause the video answer and then look into my suggestions. Well, for a quadratic function standard form, we have a solution which is x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. Now these are the roots for the given quadratic function standard form. What we are given here is the roots as we are given x equals to minus 4 plus and minus. Let me write now it is 2 outside within square root. So we could write this as when I take 2 inside becomes 4. Do you understand? That is kind of very important to understand. So I could write this as minus 4 plus and minus square root of 4 times 13 is 52 over 6, right? So these are the roots. And in terms of coefficients of our quadratic function a, b and c, we can correlate them and find a, b and c. Do you understand? And then find the solution. So let's start comparing. Now 2a should be equal to 6. Do you see that denominator? So we'll do 2a equals to 6 and that gives us a equals to 6 divided by 2 which is equals to 3. So we get a equals to 3, right? So that is one part and then what we can do is we can calculate minus b. Minus b is minus 4 for us. So we get minus b equals to minus 4 and that means b equals to 4 for us. So we get the value of b also. Now the third part is within the square root sign we have 52 and that is equal to b square minus 4ac. Right? So let's need, so we need to solve for that. So we have b square minus 4ac equals to 52. Do you see that? We can compare this. Now we have already calculated a is 3 and b is 4. So let's substitute. So b is 4. So we'll have 4 square minus 4 times a is 3 times c is 52. Now we can solve this, right? 4 square is 16. So I can write this as minus 4 times 3 is 12. 12c equals to 52 minus 16. And what is 52 minus 16? 12 take away 6 is 6 and 4 take away 1 is 3. So we have 36. So C should be equals to 36 divided by minus 12, which is minus 3. Do you see that? So we get C as minus 3. Now since we know A, B and C, we can write down our quadratic function. It should be Y equals to A is 3. So 3X squared, B is 4 plus 4X c is minus 3 so we'll write minus 3 do you see that so that is how we can get solution of such a question right so very important question and probably this is the easiest way of doing it so that is how you should do it you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot so i'd like you to go through this video once again and understand the process by which we found the answer here's a very critical step Two, when you take out, take inside the radical sign, it should become four, right? Four square root is two. I think that helps. Thank you and all the best.